Previously on Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne We make our way through the obelisk Hindered by demons and Kagatsuchi puzzles Within the obelisk we also meet the Moire sisters Servants of Hikawa tasked with guarding Mr. Takao After successfully defeating them we rescue Ms. Takao who will explain that she feels guilty for letting herself be used by Mr. Hikawa. However, in the middle of her regret and newfound resolve to forge her own path, an entity named Aradia decides to possess Ms. Takao. After a spiel that sounds suspiciously like its own reason, Ms. Takao disappears, presumably kidnapped by Aradia into the Amala network. Just then, the little boy and old lady appeared to give us our true objective to find an ideal to support in order to create a new world. And so we set out looking for the reason that will bring about the new dawn of a new world. Alright, so we're back. Finally, after almost more than a week, maybe, I guess, almost about to be two weeks. Stuff happened, and then I preferred to play uh, Mary Skelter for a bit. Basically, the obelisk burned me out to hell and back. Like, I don't even want to think about that place anymore. Uh, I don't. Usually, I would make like some sort of note that, like, right now, right, right now, we should, we would normally be in the treasure room. And I would normally be showing you how to do the puzzles and get all the treasure in there. Uh, but nah, man. <laughs> Not now. Okay, so... Again, we, we don't know where exactly we're supposed to go. But the thing is, both Isamu and Miss Takao, I believe, got sucked into the Amala network. Labyrinth of Amala is... Um, the extra dungeon, so it's obviously not that. So let's go see what Hijiri has to say first. And then let's see if, you know, there, there are any updates basically. Hey, you did it. And what do you know? There is an update. Sup, Hijiri. I could tell from here that the flow of Magatsuhi had returned to normal. Well, now that you showed the Neolo who the real demon is, Hikawa won't be able to make his move for a while. I think we can take a little breather. But how did you stop the nightmare system? Wasn't that maiden operating it? Funny thing. <laughs> I saved her, I took care of her, I don't want to talk about it. Um Sympathetic. Let's go sympathetic. I saved her. So, Hikawa was using her, huh? Mm-hmm. That he was. Who knows what she'll do now, but at least the nightmare system is dead. Oh yeah, I know it might seem like I'm making you do all the work. Really? Just seem. You know, not actually making me do all the work? <sighs> well, I guess you are figuring out the, the Amala network thing. I'm doing what thing. I can. Let me share with you what I've found out so far, okay? All right, listen up. What was with that please don't option? <laughs> to create a new world, you need a strong idea of what kind of world you want to make. This idea is commonly referred to as a reason. Now, to acquire a reason, you have to receive divine protection from a god. And this is where the Magatsuhi comes into play. You need a large quantity of Magatsuhi in order to summon said god. That's why Hikawa, a human, was collecting Magatsuhi. Which reminds me, I met another human inside the Amala network just a minute ago. It was some guy who used to be held captive by the mantra. Do you know him? Ah. Uh, oh, it. Oh, some guy, it's a Samu. Okay. In fact, I do. Or you can just deny, no, who's that guy? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, it seems like he's a full on resident of the Amala network now. It's been literally what? 
three hours since I rescued him from? I don't know, I'm just going... Well, I guess, you know, technically we did climb almost 100 floors of the obelisk, so it could have been longer in game time. If you're unlucky, you can get swept away somewhere. Or even worse, the network will straight up absorb you. But that's how it goes in this world. Where one life doesn't amount to much, and human relationships are pretty much non-existent. Nonetheless, I can send you to where I met him if you want. Do we want that though? He's kind of an asshole. But I feel like we have to. So I'm just gonna save. Um, then then re replenish some stuff. And then we can... I mean... Basically the game's straight up telling us to go to Isamu. So let's just see if anything's changed in town first. Were you here the last time? The northern part of the city is restored, and now you can go inside. But we weren't the first ones here. Well, we're so pumped up. I'm going to help restore the city too. Uh, good for you, man. Good for you. Alright, so I want to check out what that mannequin was talking about, the northern part of the city. And unless I'm going crazy and this isn't north, there's nothing here. Maybe he meant, um... Because there are parts of the, the, the area that are also called Asakusa. But isn't in this specific area. I'm not sure if I should go check it out or just go straight for Isamu. Maybe I'll, I'll try. I'll try to look... Hang on, I think I haven't forgotten the old ritual. We need Estoma. And now we can go. Yeah, so. See, this part is also Asakusa. But what 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 do they mean by restored? No, I can still get into battles here, so. I guess that's not what they meant. Ah, oh, whatever. Maybe it's just fluff. Maybe. Maybe the mannequin just telling me that the city is arbitrarily getting better, you know, world building per se. Um, team wise, I haven't played in a bit, so we, this is workable, I think. Hang on, uh, I'm going to go experiment with some fusions again. I had a plan. I just forgot what that plan was, <laughs> but I had a plan, it, it, and it involved Zuke. So, hang on while I figure that out. All right, so it this is going to be a fusion between Onkot and Succubus. It was originally supposed to be Onkot and Zuke, but I, because I, I, I wasn't expecting to actually get Succubus on my team, but I was able to at some point. So I don't need to use Zuke because Zuke actually has some unique skills and I want to use Zuke to fuse someone else in the future. Um, besides, I can just get Succubus back by buying her back if I need to. Um, but right now, Zuke has some skills that I want to keep like Agilau because I, once again, I don't have a fire dude. But the reason why I want to get Virtue is because of Media Rama. Uh, Media is fine. For the most part, but at, at one point it won't be fine, you know. So uh, basically, I, I'm getting virtue just so that I got a better healer on the team. the The trade-off is virtue cannot learn War Cry, so I'm gonna lose War Cry. But you know, I can still use Tarukaja, so and Tarunda, so that you know, eh. I traded healing, more healing for less debuffing, so I guess it's a, an even trade, if you if you know what I mean. The, the only question now is if I want more crit or if I want Tetrakarn, because Tetrakarn is not bad at all. Actually, hang on, hang on. If I use Zuke, don't I get more? Yes, I get more skills if I use Zuke. Oh well, oh well then. I'll just use Zuke then and then buy Zuke back if I need him. So let's get Might, Tarukaja, Tarunda, and Tetrakarn. Right? I mean, nothing else, right? Agalon, Leftoma's already on Pisaka. 
Yeah, I'm gonna lose Aguila, so I'll just live with the fact that I don't have any fire coverage. I mean, I could sacrifice Might for Aguila, but... Uh... I don't know, how often is this guy gonna attack anyway? You know, yeah, sure. Uh, I, have, I, I have... I have too much physical anyway, so... Let's sacrifice Might for Aguila. This character is more of magic focused anyway. All right, that works. That Are works. Are you sure? Besides, might is just a chance, so you know it's not exactly a sure thing that you're gonna crit anyway. So might as well not play the RNG game in a game full of RNG, if you know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. You've been watching the, the game. I am virtue of the Divine Clan. Charmed, I'm sure. All right. Charmed, I'm sure. Like, hmm. well, you know, that's kind of interesting. That's, that, that always interested me about the game. Like, it's a world full of demons, but, you know, angels are classed as one of them. Not like, I'm sure the angels feel all superior to the demons, but from this he from this perspective from our mc's perspective like they're all the same you know what i mean <laughs> it's like you know the difference between angel and demon in this world is pretty blurred i guess that's the point anyway let's uh check out the amala network and see how isamu is doing is this how where the demi fiends and assembly of Nihilo, Mifuna Shiro, Ikebukuro Tunnel, or maybe I have to talk to you. Do you want me to transfer you to where he is? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me again how creation works? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. By the way, tell him not to linger too long in there. I really doubt he'd listen to me, but okay, I'll try telling him. I can't skip this, actually. Yeah, <laughs> if it's the Amala Network, you can't skip it. Ooh, PTSD. <laughs> We're back here, boys. We're back here. All right. Oh, God. Good luck to us all. How's the map doing? Okay, just a straight line for now. Oh, no. All right, which one's gonna send me back to the beginning? Yep, you are. <laughs> Hang on, the Magatsuhu is going back. So this, this is also... No, okay. So you can't use the direction of Magatsuhi to tell you if you're about to hit a dead end. Okay, I get it. Okay, that one's straightforward, but I guess you can use the direction of Magatsuhi to tell you which one's the way, f you know, forward. I guess if you go against the Magatsuhi, you're not necessarily running into a dead end, more like you're not going the right way. I'm going to test that theory, because if, if that's actually a theory that holds up, I don't think it's a theory that holds up. <laughs> Send me back. No, I'm going to go full right. Yep, okay. Full left? So, no, the, the theory doesn't hold up. Ha! <sighs> well, on the bright side, Estoma seems to be holding. I haven't gotten into a single battle, though. You know, I, I, I kind of... This is just the reverse of the first time I was here. <laughs> you can hear a voice. Did you find him? No. I... <laughs> wow. Let, let's go. Really? Full lie. Ben, get out of there. The terminal's acting up. It's not like it should be. Wow. You can... You can actually straight up lie to him. And... Mm, you don't get punished for it. Weird, but okay, I'll take it. Um... Okay, let's get this Toma back. All right, you know, that break, that almost two week break from this game is 
really helped. I, I don't feel as pissed at it anymore. Even the... I don't know. The, the obelisk was especially obnoxious to me. I don't know why. What's with all the visitors these days? Take that human kid who wandered in not too long ago. Guy lives here now. Honestly, I don't care who comes in, as long as they keep their distance. But yeah, you know... The... The hallway sending me back to the start... Don't really piss me off as much as the obelisk did. Look, I appreciate the gesture, but I'm no mood for chit-chat. Trust no one, the truth resides within you. I'm sure I'm not the first person to tell you this stuff. So read the room and don't go around bothering anyone. Yes, I realize this counts as chit chat. You know, it's in dialogue like that where y you start feeling the similarities in writing between SMT and Persona. I just, I think Persona is just a bit happier about it, you know? Oh, it was a terminal. How about that? But yeah, I think uh, Persona is just happy Shin Megami. And no, I'm not going to say Persona is better than SMT. Uh, I actually chose this game specifically so I could see what Shin Megami is like. Uh, okay, hang on. I I've been blabbing too much. Okay, so this was a dead end. Uh, let let's go check out that dead end first. Okay, so I stepped into the dead end and I found... Nightmare fuel. <laughs> there's no there's no other way to describe it. 87. Hmm. Not sure if you're strong against physical. Yeah, you're strong against physical. Uh, just slap him. Or maybe I'm just weak. I don't know. Let's see. Virtue. Agalao has magic against these guys. 136. Not bad. Not bad. Well, also, what? What Magatama am I on, anyway? Okay, that missed MC. That means MC isn't resistant to it. I hope I don't die. Okay, okay. So, these guys are fine. Oh, it, his name is Legion. That's why it's a bunch of... Well, I'm just gonna slap him. So, that's why it's a bunch of... People and faces fused together. The touch, please. Nice. <laughs> Hang on. I have a theory. Let's see how lucky I was. What Magatama am I holding? I was holding Gaia. I'm on Gaia. I was weak to all those death to all those death casts. All right. So, as usual, RNG giveth. RNG taketh away. Anyway, as I was saying, hang on, let us get, let's get back to where we were a while ago. All right, so we're back at the hall of a thousand. I don't want to talk to anyone. Scram! I, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I picked Shin Megami Nocturne specifically because I wanted to play an SMT game. I have the strength to live on my own, and that's that. Is this Isamu's reason? No. Nah, leave me the hell alone. Yeah, it's Isamu's reason. I, the, the game is explaining to me what Isamu's reason is. Anyway, uh, le let's not move so I can talk about what I want to talk about. <clears throat> I picked SMT because I wanted to see, like, where Persona came from, you know? Uh... I'm well aware that by this time, Persona and SMT are kind of, like, just going in different directions. But I'm also aware that Persona was inspired by Shin Megami, so I wanted to see what it was like first. Like, I, I, I definitely see the influence, right? I don't wanna talk. I definitely see the influence, but I don't think it's fair... Society didn't shun me. I shun society. I don't need anyone else. 
Yeah, I don't think it's fair to say that, you know, if you like Persona, you're necessarily inferior. Because, I don't want... I think, I think, if you like Persona, you're just... You know, it's a different I kind of game. Right damn well, please. Nobody can tell me what to do. What? Okay, so definitely don't go straight. Anyway, let me finish my thought. It's a different kind of game. Persona and Shin Megami are different kinds of games. They they stem from the same roots, but I I can appreciate both of them. Like I don't I don't necessarily hate this. I mean, it's less happy because what I like about Persona is it's happier. It's like I, I'm I'm a I'm a college kid. Oh look, I can get into the TV. Or I'm a college kid. I'm gonna shoot myself. What? I mean, hi. <laughs> you know, Persona Three, because I want uh, like the death of the self and all that. It, it's the same concepts, only um same concepts, different package. I think I'll just leave my thought at that. Anyway, let's actually try to get this. So I, I, I've eliminated a few uh, possibilities of where I could go. Yeah. So basically, I think all of these ghosts are just saying what, you know, wh how Isamu thinks, what, how he's feeling. Um, let's not go there because that's just going to lock that off. So I guess we can move forward. Uh, like this. All right, will this end, work? The only, only one you can trust can is yourself. You alone are responsible for creating the future you want. Is this going to close all three paths off? Yeah, it will. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. You should go this way. Well, I should have went that way. Okay. So, basically, it's just left, center, right. Also, I I I have I feel that this is like symbolism, oh, yeah. nah. like yes, doing it, going it alone. Um, how do you put this? Yes, going it alone can get you places, but at the same time, going it alone makes it harder for yourself. Like every time a spirit says, "I can do this," "I can do it on my own," or whatever those spirits were saying, a path closes. Like. So every time you think that you're just going to go it solo, you, you close a path off for yourself. It's still possible. Exactly. I mean, I got through the puzzle, right? It's still possible. But I think my interpretation of it is like, you know, you can do it yourself, but it's going to be harder for yourself, you know? I have the strength to live on my own, and that's that. All right. No. Leave me the hell alone. Are, are all of these souls, like, agreeing with Isamu or something? Okay, I, I'm gonna guess that the sides are just ways to... Ooh, okay. So the sides are just ways to get back to, like, reset the, the map, so to speak. Alright, so clearly that didn't work out. If I go I left, what happens? Tell me. Okay. Left? This, did this close everything out? Yeah, okay. So it's right, then left, then right. Okay. You know... I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but... If you're gonna make a puzzle this obnoxious, like, if you go the wrong way, it's over, you have to restart. But also put two different, only put two paths. It's like... You know... <laughs> What is is it gonna this close it off? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna close it off. So like, <laughs> if you're only gonna put two paths, and you're gonna make a puzzle this obnoxious, then aren't you just forcing the player to run through the same hallway like five different times? It's like, yeah, just figure it out. Okay, now, now we go left. Now you go. Now you go straight, because right obviously closes it off. Le 
it misdirects you just because it wants you to engage more in the game. Huh. Darkness or darkness? I picked the left kind of darkness. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I think. Therefore I am. Okay, now you're now you're quoting philosoph philosophy. Philosophers. Oh, I guess at least I get the treasure. Cash cube. It's a trap! Your party took damage. How much damage? A lot of damage. Wait, magic mirror. Ah! Uh, Oh yeah, I, I I forgot. I actually actually used uh, Zuke. Well, let's see how what the value of Meteorama is. Full life. Well, almost full life. I'll take it. Glad I got him then. So I guess the correct answer is right. Right? Is that it? And then it's gonna close the left side. Yeah. To be it's is to be solitary. There is no such thing. As loneliness. Okay, I'm definitely not following Isamu. I'm a psych major. This is this is not healthy to create a world just based on strength. You know, it's not Okay, so that's annoying. So basically the game's like, hey, you know the treasure over there? You wanna go get it? Well too bad, you gotta go back. <laughs> Still, I prefer this place to, to the obelisk. I don't know man. Preferences, I guess. Also, I should get Mr. Makoto Naegi over here out of this Magatama before I regret my decision completely. Yeah. Or maybe not Komodo. Um, I, I doubt we'll level up, honestly. So, and Marogare still has a skill he can learn, so why not, right? All right, so... All of the Magatsuhi is going that way. Therefore, what is this? Oh, it's a save point. Interesting, interesting. And what's back here? Oh, you! That's what a demon I just met over there said. But he was much angrier and fiercer. Okay, so fluff room and save room. Then this is the correct way. Demons go restless, meaning I need another <laughs> Estoma. And let's push forward. All right, so I can actually kill you guys. Can I? Okay, I can. Uh, I'm, I'm just not killing the Legion guys because they're too much of a pain in the ass. But I, I still want to play it the way I play it. And the way I play these kinds of games is killing everything. I just need to balance it more just because, well, I'm recording and... Wow, you... <laughs> he suicided into a dodge. Dodge? Well, not, not, not dodge, but okay. But yeah, so I'm just trying to keep a balance, you know. Aji increased by one. Oh, good, because you don't have any Aji. Maragion! What do you do? Medium fire damage to all foes. I, I want that. Threaten, heat wave, Rakukaja, don't persuade. Uh, get rid of threaten. I think we can use persuade more than threaten, I believe. Berith? Want to talk to me? Thou art worthy of mine arms. You received this poison. Thank you. All right. Hang on. Let me heal or let me cutscene. <gasps> it's <laughs> it's you again. I finally found you. you. I look for you. This time, I kill you and feel good! Bro. For my happiness! Die! Okay. Lot of me! Uh... 
As long as you don't go for- okay. So I'm kind of damaged. <laughs> because I didn't think I'd get into a fight and I, you know, didn't heal. So, uh, let's just- let's respect the fight. Let's respect the fight. Fuck breath of everyone. How much respect though? <laughs> this much respect. Immediately begin debuffing. Uh, and... Health thrust one of them so just so that they're not a full set when they merge. I think that's a smart move play move here. And Meteorama just in case they actually hurt this time. Okay. We're good now. I learned new magic. Whoa, I eat you. Megido. <laughs> Nothing happening. I got no power. Ooh, I drain, I drain you! Okay. Mana drain. Okay. So, now, now they decide to explain the gimmick of the enemy before actually subjecting you into it. That's weird. Because usually the game is more than happy to just toss you in and you're like, whatever man, deal with it. But no, this time it's like, oh no, I'm gonna drain your MP or else Marie. Okay, that was so wrong. Or else I'll... I think that skill he was trying to use is almighty damage. I think. Are you weak to Zionga? No, they're all weak to magic. Okay. Mana drain. Dodge. Nice. As long as I don't get the skills, this feeling, I have power! But you only... Oh no, he's actually able to cast it now. Dodge! <laughs> Alright. Um, so obviously you're all strong, like, invulnerable to magic. So I'll just heave wave you. Woo! -hoo! It's actually pretty worth. Um, and health thrust the first guy, so just, he's gone. He's not gone yet. Uh, Tarukaja, start buffing as well. Attack, dodge, mana drain, dodge, or, or not. Mana drain, dodge, nice. Uh, attack, and you're on focus, right? So, you lunge the sec. Ooh. Oh, I'm never gonna get used to that. Lunge the second one. Why is this first one so strong? <laughs> Can you help thrust? He's still not dead. Is the first one actually indestructible? Hang on, that's Tarunda. He might actually be able to get some damage down fairly soon. Mana drain. Minus two press turns for you guys. Minus two press turns for you guys. All right, only one hit, it's fine. Lunge. Lunge the first one. Okay, so the first one either had so just extra HP or I, I don't know. I was doing something wrong, maybe. Um, you can start Rukaja again. I think, I think we're pretty much Aoki for this fight. Uh, just hit. Same with you, just hit. Dekunda insufficient MP. <laughs> How much MP do you guys have? <laughs> you don't even have MP for Dekunda. What the hell? <laughs> and, oh, I didn't really Dekunda you all that much either, so. I don't know, man. I don't know. One more heatwave. I don't even feel the need to use Bert's buff, so I'm just using him to attack. Finally, for once, I actually get to use my Bareth to attack. Okay, one by one, they're all dying. Let's... Meteorama? Oh, that's so good. Dodge, Mana Drain. Okay, I think we're done. I, uh, nothing much more to say here. I'm surprised that they didn't merge this time. Oh, already in effect. Lunge. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't merge this time. Alright, let's stop wasting MP and HP. Let's just whack him. Yeah, this is done. Interesting fight. 
I mean... He just changed strategy, but nothing really... ...changed, you know? That's a lot of XP, though. That was more XP than I was expecting. Okay. I leveled up. Yeah, Vit. Yeah, Vit. My Rogari has been going to act violently. Continue. Warm light. Fully recovered. Naga Vit 1. Wooing. What is wooing? Invite a demon to join. Nah, man. Uh, we're good. We're good. Oh, Tempest is up next. At least we'll, we'll have more elemental coverage when we get Tempest, right? What? Really? That hallway was just to fight that one guy? Is the hall- oh, okay. <sighs> yes, Mr. Shadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What? You... You... Want it to pass? Why, yes, I do. No. <laughs> hmm. Then go over there. <laughs> then go over there. Did something open? No. Okay, I do want to pass. I do want to pass. Hang on. Oh, come on. You really want me to skip all this? You can You... Yes. I see. You, what's your name? Makoto Nigi. No! Don't say your name to demons. You're quiet. I think there's something... I, I don't know what folklore this is, but if you say your name to a certain um, demon or... Uh, what do you call this? A, a certain kind of being that they'll have control over you for the rest of your life. Ooh. Cool. <sighs> you... Solitude. You like solitude? I'm gonna go with no. You. I, I don't want to agree with anything in this world because I don't like Isamu's reason. No good. Maybe differ from master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Can you? Live on your own? I mean... I'm gonna go with dots, cause... Talk to... We all... Live on our own. You are... Me. And I am you? Isn't that the start of another Persona game? <laughs> the shadow disappeared. Alright. So I didn't want to say yes there because technically yes, anyone can live on their own, hermits do it. You know, as long as you have enough food and sustenance, anyone can do it. But is it really living? You know, people are social creatures. Like simply deciding that solitude is... What, what's going on? Oh, he's getting pummeled by spirits. So, solitude didn't quite work out right. You didn't rely on anyone and now look what happened to you. Got your ass whooped hey, by spirit. Long time no see. Or you turned into a literal demon god, I don't know. I don't know if you're here to help me or hurt me, but either way, it's pointless. The me who used to wander this world aimlessly is dead. I'm done with all the bullshit. What you see before you is the new me, the true master of Amala's power. Uh-huh. To be honest with you, I stopped caring about people entirely. You know, I liked you better when you had the jacket on. Faces on your sh on your 
body is so out of fashion. In the moment I did, I figured out exactly how I want the world to be. You're, you're reminding me of Saga Hockey. The way I see it, there's me and there's everyone else. Most people don't even notice I exist. They don't care about me, and I sure as hell don't care about them. That's a circular argument. So, what if you care about them, then they care about you? It, it works the other way around too, you know. To me, that's neither empty nor sad. In the end, we're all in the center of our own little worlds. And isn't that the way it should be? Wouldn't you be happier in your own private sanctuary? One where you had full control. And that's what you get with my reason. The reason of Yusuke. Doesn't sound like a bad deal, does it? Wouldn't it be nice to have a world to yourself? <sighs> the thing is... This is, this is a silly reason, because you're gonna have to explain to me what a world to yourself means. What if, because if you're gonna build a reason on solitude, and then the world I choose for myself is not solitude, then doesn't that defeat the purpose of your, um... Doesn't that defeat the purpose of your own reason? What if I fill my own personal world with people I like? Then that cancels out my solitude. Now, if you're talking about a world where... You can put anything you want aside from other people... Then I still... Then I wouldn't like it. But if I can create any world I want... Including people, then whatever, right? Because... You know, let's be honest, I kind of get you. Uh, people don't care. Some people would just see you struggling and, you know, even laugh at you or not even help you out. There are people like that, I get it. But to create a reason based on the assumption that the world is like this, therefore I am also like that. You know, it, it feels kind of immature. In a sense, like, you can't black and white people. Yes, 99.99% .99 of the people in the world will not care about you. But isn't the point zero one percent that matters? Do, do you want to have 10 million people care about you? I, not really. It's All you need is one to two, maybe three friends, right? Maybe more if you're an extrovert, but... Even extroverts don't expect everyone to care about them. So I cannot agree with your reason, you know? That a feeling you wouldn't get? Guess it was matter to someone who gave up this humanity. As for me, I'm gonna create the world of Musubi and prove my ideal is right. <laughs> Maybe you should spend some time alone, and then you'll see. Technically... The entire Demifiend journey has been mostly alone. Sometimes Hijiri, sometimes some other demon, but... Like... If you stretch out this timeline and... You know... Compute how long it would actually take to walk the wastelands of a ruined Tokyo... Um... I'm pretty sure Demifiend has been wandering for a very very long time there is no timeline to when you need to create the world so gameplay wise it's been a few hours but it could have been years already for happened. this world too bad he got away i i don't know man we, we wouldn't want him in our team anyway i can go after him that way he won't have to bother with amala anymore no um, amala's fine <laughs> sorry but i can't help you right now I need to concentrate on this. That that didn't annoy me nearly as much as the obelisk. If there's somewhere you want to go, don't wait for me. If not, why don't you check out Asakusa? All right. Who knows? You might find something new. 
Asakusa where? Asakusa outside the door or Asakusa over in Mifunashiro? <laughs> Alright, um... Hey, look at that! It's actually sub one hour. Uh, so I'm gonna leave the episode there for now. Um, actually an episode within a reasonable amount of time. Um, also, with a reasonable amount of things that happened. I was also able to explain my thoughts on Isamu's reason. And, you know, we, we, we gotta fight a boss. So I think that's good enough. I wanna, I wanna meet Chiaki again. I want her to explain her reason a bit more. Because I still haven't fully rejected Chiaki's reason. Anyway, um, if you want to see where what happened in Asakusa, because Hijiri's obviously hinting that we need, we need to go check it out, maybe leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been Caffeinified Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.